Right, the 2015. Right, the 2015 restricted answer three. Methyl cinnamate is an ester used to add strawberry flavours to food. Naturally occurring ester found in, in the essential oil extracted from the leaves of strawberry gum trees. To extract the essential oil, steam is passed through shredded strawberry gum leaves. The steam and essential oil are then condensed and collected. Complete the diagram to show an apparatus suitable of carrying out this extraction. Okay, right. I'm going to actually draw this up to the right just so I've got enough space. You're going to get two marks for this one. So that means you've got two parts. And the two parts we have, you can see, are quite clear. It says, first here, steam is passed through shredded strawberry gum leaves. And then it says the steam and essential oil are then condensed and collected. So I need two parts to my, to my diagram here. You have to make sure it connects up. You have, to, you have to make sure you don't close things off. So I need some way of passing this, this steam here, through into chopped up strawberry gum trees. Sorry, not the trees, the leaves. So there's lots of ways you could draw this. So you could draw it just as a column and you could either draw the column sideways like this. Sorry, and, and you would do it neater, okay? And then in here we would have the leaves which you would label. Okay, so this is shredded strawberry gum leaves. You could also do that same kind of process, but you could put it, um, if you preferred the column going this way, which given it steam, it would rise through it. That would also be fine. Okay, but what you've got to do is connect it up neatly to this point over here where the steam is coming out with no, as I say, so you can't close it off like that. Okay, you've got to be careful that you don't do that. That will always lose your marks. That's your first mark. The second mark is to take what's coming out of this, so this bit here, and connect it into something which will condense. So the simplest thing to do on that one would be coming out and going basically through an entire, just straight through with a collection point at the end, okay? And then round the outside of it, draw a condenser. And to be absolutely clear that it's a condenser, you write condenser, okay? And that will get you the mark. Um, and depending on how you've set this up, you might need to do other connecting tubes. All that's important is if you have a connecting tube, then make sure the connecting tube doesn't close anything off. So, oh, that was still, that was a slightly dodgy tiger on that one. There we go. Okay. Right. Essential oil is extracted as a mixture of compounds. Suggest a technique that be used to separate the mixture into pure. I'm really expecting that you would recognise if I'm trying to separate a mixture of liquids, I would go with fractional distillation. But chromatography is also a good one. And that's all that was on the mark scheme. They didn't even require to say fractional, which I was surprised at. But then I suppose you are only looking at the argument. Well, it's a mixture of many things. So actually, yeah, I'm still expecting fractional, but it accepted distillation. OK, B. Student prepared a sample of methyl cinnamate from cinnamonic acid and methanol. Given everything, given the masses, it's been relatively nice here. It's a one to one to one to one. 6.5 grams of cinnamonic acid was reacted with 2 grams of methanol. Show by calculation that cinnamic, cinnamic acid is the limiting reactant. And then they even tell you in brackets one mole reacts with one mole. Right, there are lots of ways that you can do this, like depending on your how you're running an excess and how you do it, but this is how I would start. So I go for the moles of the cinnamic acid. So moles is mass divided by formula mass. So I've got 6.5, oh, sorry, 6.5. Let me just rub it out actually so it's slightly neater. Okay, 6.5 divided by uh, 148. Data's over there. Okay, that means that I have 0 0.04 moles of cinnamic acid. Okay, you're told that it's a one-to-one. -one. So requires... 0 0.04 of methanol. Now I go and find out what, what methanol I have. So my moles of methanol is mass divided by formula mass. 
and again you're told that it's 32 and it was 2 grams that you worked with so I have 0 0.0625 0 0.0625 is greater than 0 0.04 so methanol in excess uh, cinnamic acid is limiting okay Student obtained 3.7 grams of methyl cinnamate from 6.5 grams of cinnamic acid. Calculate percentage yield. Okay, I do think the best way to do this is just proportion. Okay, so let's start again. Cinnamic acid uh, to your methyl cinnamate. Okay, so from the top bit, they tell you 148 grams should give you 162, assuming 100% yield and everything being wonderful. So 148 gives me 162. You're then also told that they used 6.5. So 6.5 grams gave me 7.1 grams. Okay, I just said 6.5 divided by 148 times by 162. 7.1 grams is 100% yield, but I'm looking for my percentage yield. Percentage yield is what I got, 3.7 from up here, divided by what I could have got, my 7.1 for here, and times by 100, so that is 52%. Last bit of, the, of this question. The student wanted to scale up the experiment to make 100 grams of methyl cinnamate. Cinnamic acid costs £35 per 250 grams. Calculate the cost of cinnamic acid needed to produce 100 grams of methyl cinnamate. Right, there's lots of different ways to do this. I went with proportion again because I still think it's the easiest way to go. I'm just going to line this bit off so that we can work in, I can work in this bit here. Okay, so what I knew was that three, I'm going to rewrite this actually some, so you can see what's going on. So it's a methyl cinnamate this time. Cinnamate going to my cinnamic acid. Okay, so I know that 3.7 grams of this gave me 6.5 grams of that. But I want to get 100 grams of this. Okay. Sorry, 3.7 was from the 6.5. So I want to scale this up to 100 grams. So I'm going to use proportion again. So I'm going to do 100 divided by 3.7 times by 6.5. Now, I'm actually going to keep this in my calculator because I find that otherwise it, it caused problems a little bit further on. Right, so if I keep this in the calculator, I've got something like 175.68 and some various bits on the end of it, okay? What I now need to do is to find out how much that costs. What I know is that 250 grams of this costs 35 pounds. So I do a second proportion. So if I kept this in a calculator, I just do 250, sorry, not, not 250, at uh, 175.68, blah, 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 whatever was in the calculator, divide by 250 times by 35 pounds gives me, well, just by 35, gives me 24 0.59. Now the reason I said I had, I had to keep this in the calculator was when I calculated it and rounded I got 24.598 and I rounded that to £24.60. Um, the mark scheme has it at 59 pence. So um, yeah, I suppose you haven't, that 59 is reasonable. You haven't actually paid 60. You have only paid 59 pence. So just be careful with that one.